Welcome back. WW Fly Corvair here. Today we're going to take a look at the oil pressure regulator in a Corvair motor. This is a look at the inside of the rear case. This labyrinth controls the flow of oil through the motor. The oil pump that we've previously discussed is down in this zone, but sitting right here is where the oil pressure regulation takes place. The oil pressure regulator is an ultra simple system that consists of a piston, a spring behind it, and a plug screwed into the end of the case. These three components screwed in this hole make up the stock oil system. The three components seen here, the piston, the spring, and the plug work together as a unit. They're installed in the oil system and when the engine's running they're put under pressure. The piston is forced backwards against the spring at a regulated tension and at a certain point it begins to bleed off pressure. When the engine is running and it is at pressure, it regulates the oil at one set pressure. In the case of the stock Corvair, it's about 37 PSI. Upon assembly, the piston is slid down the regulator bore. It's held at the bottom of the bore by spring pressure. As you can see, the piston is all the way seated against the stop right there. Its regulator port is this round hole right here. This is a relief port so the piston doesn't have any problem backing up under pressure. This chamber right here is under full oil pressure while the engine is running. As it's running, the piston is pushed backwards and it opens that port right there just ever so slightly. That's what regulates the oil pressure in the motor. It does it on a balance of pressure and it runs very smoothly while it's doing it. When using a pointer in a video, you can always point this out that this is the round hole we're looking at. But that's really a tasteless thing to do when talking about engines. Mostly because, of course, that's an 8mm Mauser and nobody should point out things on an American engine with an 8mm Mauser. That's why we bring in the 30-06. The 30-06 is the appropriate pointer to use. That's the hole we'll be speaking of. Let's take a look now at the modified part. If you look at it closely, this has been turned into an oval instead of a hole. That is a very specifically sized slot that we milled into the part. This slot allows the piston more area when it retreats back under pressure to relieve the pressure in the motor so it can be regulated at its regulated pressure with the oil at a higher viscosity and a higher flow rate. Let's take a look at the close-up here. The close-up shows the piston already in the bore right there. There's the piston against its stop. The stop is where it rests, pushed there by spring pressure. As the engine runs, the pressure will push the piston further back. As we look at it, there's the piston in its first position where it can relieve oil back to the unpressurized side of the motor. In normal operation, it can stay cracked open like this. When the oil is thick, cold, and viscous, you'll need more area, like that right there, to have oil flow through so that the pressure doesn't build up excessively high. This is an effect of having a high volume oil pump. This is only when the engine is cold. That's why the enlarged opening is important. The pressure that the system runs at is set by the spring. A yellow color code spring is slightly higher pressure than stock. When the spring is installed and held down with the cap, that little boss centers the spring. When it's held down like this and screwed in place with an appropriate gasket, that sets the preload on the piston. If you operate your Corvair in a climate which requires continuous preheating before operation, you may want to use an adjustable oil pressure regulator. 
the stock piece right here, the cap is removed and it is replaced with this fitting. Contained within this fitting is an Allen screw. The Allen screw can set the pressure at a wide range of pressures. A longer spring will hold that pressure throughout a wider range of temperatures. Again, not necessary in most Corvairs, but available should you need it. Here's how your oil pressure regulator is delivered in an HV2000 complete assembly. The oil pressure regulator is fully machined, fully assembled, set, ready to bolt on to the engine. There you have it, a look at the oil pressure regulator on a Corvair. A very, very simple system. While many engines have much more complicated systems, you really don't need it on an air-cooled Corvair motor in an airplane. There's a lot of talk about things like temperature-sensitive thermostats and all of that stuff, but we're using multi-viscosity, high-quality oil in an engine designed for those oils. This system has been long proven to work. We've delivered hundreds of these to builders. This is the appropriate choice for a successful Corvair engine installation. There you have it, a quick look at the Corvair's oil pressure regulation system and the slight modifications that we make to it so that it works with the high volume oil pump that we have specifically for flight engines. If you've enjoyed the video and enjoyed having a look at this, please remember to subscribe. Subscribing supports the channel and aids us in bringing more integrated information to you. Thanks very much, and we'll see you out on the flight line.